What is going on folks? Will Terby here for Fake Mike. Real news. Today we're going to the Church of Scientology in New York City. Let's see if they respect my right to film from outside. Let's see if they respect my religious right. Let's see if they respect my right to peaceably assemble and protest. <clears throat> Let's see if they can tell me where Shelly Miscavige is. We haven't seen her in public in 13 years, according to my last count. So let's see if anybody can tell us where Shelly Muscavige is. Or maybe they can tell us why Zenu or Xanadu, whatever, started impregnating volcanoes in the first place. What's up, Tom Cruise? What's up, Will Smith? What's up, John Travolta? All right, let's see. Looks like it's kind of in disrepair. L. Ron Hubbard. And you know, they like to stalk and harass people too. They, we've had people admit it. You know, so I'm not saying we do that, but wouldn't mind filming these guys. Let them know that we can film them right back. Right there. It's time. Well, he's alerting somebody. Here we go. See if he comes out and chats with us. Let's see if anybody comes out and chats with us. There we go. Can you help with something? I'm sorry? Can you help with something? Yeah, can you tell me where Shelly Miscavige is? What's her name? I don't answer questions. Can you tell me where Shelly Miscavige is? I've got millions of views on the internet. You don't have to worry about me, bro. Do you know where Shelly Miss Cabbage is? Yeah, that's right. That's what I thought, idiot. <laughs> I'm not gonna knock him out. I'm gonna knock him out with some truth. That's what they do. They get in your face. They try to film you. Try to stalk you. Well, I can. I got a camera too. Yes, yeah, you might notice the quality is a little better, huh? And like that kid said, let's knock him out. He's a young kid, whatever. But. <clears throat> I don't advocate for knocking anybody out, only with love and truth. This guy's on the horn with somebody, so stay tuned. Are you a Scientologist, sir? Excuse me? Are you a Scientologist, sir? I'm sorry? No. No? What do you think about Scientology? What do you guys think about Scientology? I think they're a cult. It's just my personal opinion, though. They like to follow people around. They like to harass people. But when the First Amendment's pointing in the other direction, they really don't care. Hey, dude, what do you think about Scientology? Uh, not a fan. Me neither. That's right. Now, I, re I believe in your right to uh, worship freely. That's part of the reason this country was started. That's the reason a lot of people came to this country. But uh, I also have the First Amendment to protest and mock your beliefs. If I find them illogical. I mean, you're not even get started. <clears throat> but they like to do this to other people. Let's see how they like it. This guy's lying to me with the tie. He's saying he's not a Scientologist. I think this guy just denied his religion. 
If you're a Scientologist, you should say it. What do you ladies think about Scientology? They're terrible. What do you guys think about Scientology? Yeah, I agree. So that's our friend right there. Got Cam back. Young Cammy. A cameo. Wired up. Everybody say they might hit me with a copyright because this is outside. A wired up. <clears throat> we got 10101 LY. Oh, he's he's livery, so he might be uh he might be just a driver, but he just stopped here. He didn't go into the pizzeria that I saw. He stood there and looked at me, so who knows? I don't know. Scientology, First Amendment audit. Like, share, and subscribe to Fake Mike Real News. Go find me on fakemikerealnews.com. A lot of updates coming on that website. Also, Fake Mike Real News on Instagram. Of course, Fake Mike Real News is on Facebook. All your other favorite platforms. Give me a like, share, and subscribe. Go also go over to Demand the Truth 2.0. 2 Demand the Truth 2. Check out what's going on over there if you want the spicy stuff. <clears throat> I'm wait a few more minutes and see if this boy has somebody. He's on the phone with somebody else. There's somebody else in there now, too. There's a shorter gentleman in there. It appears to be a dark. Oh, can't tell, man. There's so much glass. I'm so strong I once slammed a revolving door. Hey, what do you ladies think about Scientology? I don't know. Look them up, they're terrible. Shelly McCabbage has been missing for 13 years. So it's good to take the pulse, the temperature of the average tourist, New Yorker, as they're walking by. I'm still working on the camera, guys, but quality is much better than the $40 Metro PCS, right? Well, I know. So they're in there, they're still on the horn with somebody. These people act like, oh, if, if they shove a camera in your face, you're gonna get really scared. Dog, I confronted Bill and Hillary Clinton about Jeffrey Epstein. I freaking owned the NSA. Called out our president. I called him a pervert. Oh, we got a third person here. Oh man, here we go. I called, our, I called our president a pervert. Because what he does. You know what? Oh man, this poor guy has to go in there and get the pizza. That's a scary place, man. Be careful in there. Those guys are crazy. <clears throat> guys, a slob. So there are three individuals there right now. <clears throat> oh, someone might be coming out. Say, here we go. Here we go. Hey, brother. Hey, can I talk to you? Excuse me. That's fine. That's my public first amendment right to be here. <clears throat> So we're hanging on for the boys in blue. Excuse me, are you, excuse me, ma'am. Ma'am, are you an officer? Are you an officer? So, kind of knew they, this would happen sooner or later. They, uh, see if somebody shows up. First Amendment, sir, it's right to protest. You have the First Amendment, too. I'm not even protesting, I'm just filming. I guess it's a semi-protest. It's a quasi-one-person protest. I'm just talking back, really. Maybe if they do come, I can file a missing report, uh, missing persons report on Shelly Miscavige. 
Did they not pay you? What do you guys think about Scientology? You should. We got missing people. So he's in there, he's on the phone. We're here, in New York City, doing First Amendment audits. But of course, we have to talk to the Scientology people too, you know what I'm saying? Hey, what do you guys think about Scientology? What do you guys think about Scientology? Thumbs up, thumb down? It's silly, I agree, it's silly. It's pretty silly. There's cops on every block, so we'll see if they come. We're gonna we're gonna wait. I'm not going anywhere. They do this to people. They pay people to do this. They like, follow them around. But this is this is uh, a public property in the middle of a tourist area. They do that to they, they get pay people to uh, pay people to literally harass them, follow them around, go into their house, dig through their trash, all that. So yeah, we at the Scientology joint. Right here, New York City. Take a look at the symbolism right there. You've got the two triangles, three and three, 33. You've got the S hooking through and then you've got the pyramid right there. Church of Scientology. Should have asked him, I shouldn't have led with Shelly Miscavige. I should have led with uh, Zeno or Zando. See what they thought about that. What do you think about Scientology, brother? Let's see, you'd think there'd be a, if he really did call the cops, you'd think they'd be here the whole time, or maybe actually they're so well aware of the First Amendment and I'm within my rights, they didn't bother. Maybe they did try to do it just to try to scare me away, but. It doesn't really work too hard, uh, easy on me. Scientology ain't nothing. I mean, so if I go missing one day, guys, it may be Scientology. It may be the Clintons. It may be the NSA. It may be Joe Biden. Maybe the Kamala Harris. Uh, I don't know what it, what it is, honestly. Um, but I, I would never hurt myself. I would never hurt others. I would never lay a hand on a child. I would never ha lay a hand on a woman. I am a strong opponent in self-defense, but I would never preemptively be violent. One of the three pillars... We threw an extra pill in there. Usually there's two, but one of the three pillars of fake Mike Real News is nonviolence, nonpartisan, and utilizing the Socratic method. So, uh, although we are firm believers in self defense, we, we don't want to do anything violent. I would never hurt myself, never hurt others. So, that's the way it is. So it's been, how many minutes now has it been? Let's see. I don't know, we'll pull back here a little bit. Ooh. Get the wing going, players. So I'll probably stay for another 10, 15, maybe minutes. The pizza guy just went back inside, which I find weird. And if the, if the cops don't come by then, then I'll just take off. But, um... Who knows? Let's, maybe should I get it from across the street? Or no, because then if somebody walks out, I can confront them. So. so we're just catching the vibes, catching the waves, see if anybody comes out. Golly. They'll, they, they might hit me with a copyright strike for this whack ass song. This might be him. Who 
out. Still talking, you guys. Still across the street. How you doing? What's going on, sir? How's everything? Good, how are you? Good, good, good. So what's going on? I'm just doing a story right here on Scientology. Okay. Um, I'm exercising my First Amendment okay. to freedom of the press. Okay. You're not going inside though, right? Absolutely not. Alright. Can you, you go inside or no? No, I'm filming. Didn't ask him, I said, can I help you? And he threatened to punch me in the face. Okay, okay now you're lying. I have, it, I have it all on tape. Okay, so you, I'm just asking. No yeah, sure. Right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You'll see this on YouTube okay. later. This uh, guy's lying now, too. Uh, yeah, I know I'm allowed to film. It's my First Amendment right here. It's the First okay. Amendment, which uh, uh, guarantees him religious freedom. I also have yeah. it to peacefully well, assemble, protest, and freedom of speech. We'll explain that to him. Some people Thank you. are uh, Thank you. Okay, Thank awesome. you. Thank you very much. Thank you guys for upholding the Constitution. That is the most important thing. Especially now with qualified immunity, don't take any unconstitutional orders, you know? Because they, they might come and get you guys. You guys are great. Thank you. No. Yeah, and I'm actually going to be on my way. I wanted to stay so that he knew that because I don't know if you guys have seen what Scientology does to people, right? We have, a, we have Shelly Miscavige. She's the wife of the head. She's been not seen in public for 13 years, okay? And on top of that, they literally pay people. Even people admit this in documentaries, BBC, to, to go and stalk and harass people. So I'm just, I'm about to be out right now. I'm going to get one more film of her. Like I said, this... You guys are awesome. Thank you. Guys, don't take any unconstitutional orders. Men, women, and children have died for the Constitution. You guys are great. Thank you. I'm about to be out. You do the same. Thank you. God bless you. See, when tyrants talk to me and they laugh at me, then I'm going to give them junk. These gentlemen were great. These gentlemen were great. So I'm going to take one more picture of this fool, and then we're going to be on our way. But thank you, guys. Thank good, you. Right? Yeah, I'm good. I, you know, I mean, the, the, the leader of Scientology, David Muscavige, right. his wife, famous. They're famous people. She has not been seen in public since 2006. Wow. And nobody's looking into this, right? Nobody knows who she is. She's a big, famous person. Uh, and also, Scientology is on record. Former members of Scientology come up. It's in the mainstream news, BBC. That they come out, they pay people to harass and stalk right, people. Right. Now, I don't do that. I'm not, I mean, I, I, could, I could yell and swear and do all that stuff. I'm not doing that. Um, but, you know, I just wanted to exercise I mean, my first amendment. Is, listen, like, 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 I'm about to be out. No, I, no, I just no, wanted no, to no, wait no, for no, you guys. No, no, can I talk to you for a second? Oh, you can say whatever you want, um, sir. The thing is, I mean, you're allowed to report. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But the thing is, like... When I'm not even like, going to get close. Yeah, yeah, I'm not yeah, even, I'm not even going to get yeah, close. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. funny, this dude lied right now. Hey, but thank you, ma'am. I'm going to take one more picture. God bless you, ma'am. Please be safe. Uphold the Constitution. Thank you guys. I'm just gonna be here to make sure both for you all right. Okay, I'm gonna leave in two seconds. I just wanna get a, a zoom up of, of this guy who lied and is covering up for the death of Shelly Muscavige. Look at this guy, this guy. You're sad. You got owned. You got owned, dog. You got owned. Well, that's what happens, guys. First Amendment audit on Scientology. This poor brother needs to wake up. But guess what, guys? We're out here. We're doing First Amendment audits. We're sticking up for the right to film. We're asking what's going on with Shelly Muscavige. She has not been seen in public for 13 years. Scientology breaks family apart. And they also believe that Xandu or Xenadu or Xenu impregnated a bunch of damn volcanoes. Well, guess who doesn't believe that? Me. So F Scientology, F you, F you. You're cool, and I'm out.